Well, my otherwise pristine engine rebuild has developed a leak of all places. It's an oil leak at the fuel pump, the mechanical fuel pump. Uh, every place that the fuel pump is put together and there's a crimping seal, uh, a press in, so where the top and the bottom meet, and then the inlet and outlet uh, housings where they're pushed up, pressed in underneath, it's leaking oil at all of those places. So I did a temporary seal of it from the top um, with some JB weld and that cut down on the, uh, it cut the oil leak uh, in half. Just where it's located, the fuel pump up front, that oil just gets caught in the wind stream of the fan and everything else and it just blows it backwards over the frame rail and you know everything else i'll show you from the bottom and the top and what we're going to do to fix this so if we look from the top there's the fuel pump and you can see that's where i put jb weld with the pump in place after i cleaned it with uh, uh purple stuff brake clean uh, got it good and clean, blew it off with air. JB welded it so it could sit overnight. And that cut the leak in half. And I really, you know, I thought, I was really hoping that was going to be all of it. Because, um, you know, it was just blowing oil everywhere. It's hard to see here. But yeah, you can see how shiny that is. That's all oil that's getting blown backwards so uh hang on and we'll go underneath and take a look okay so there it is dripping from the end of the oil filter um, but as you'll see i'm going to move the camera uh it is not coming from there and of course it is dripping you can see the engine is otherwise is otherwise clean but it you know, it, it's just getting on the I-beams here and everywhere else, blowing all the way back. Look how nasty that is. Let me scooch under here, and then I'll turn the camera back on. All right, so look at that. You can see where it's getting blown all the way back. There's the culprit. There's the fuel filter. Can we, I mean, fuel pump. Can we zoom in? There we go. And get focused. So... Uh, you can see, let's see, can I point to those areas? All right, so from underneath, right here, and then the same thing on the other side. So this is the, what is that? Is that the, I think that's the inlet. So right there, and the same thing where it's pressed, where this other, where the outlet housing is pressed into this bottom housing, uh, it's leaking. And we can see around the top after I wiped that off, after I JB welded that. Um, sorry, you know how autofocus is. It just doesn't want to grab something closer and focuses on that. But anyhow, you can see it's, it's not coming down from above anymore. It's coming out of here, right where that's pressed together. So what I'm gonna do is rather than fool around I'm gonna take this one off, get another one, and then seal it with JB Weld, probably, you know, maybe unnecessary, but this is not the first time I've had a fuel pump do this, and it doesn't matter what make or model, you know, it, uh, the vehicle it goes on, it's, uh, you know, it's just due to the uh, poor QC. In countries that have an either an El Presidente or a Chairman slash um, President, if you know what I mean. So, um, anyhow, I'm going to go get the new one, clean it up, scuff it up at all those areas, uh, the top and bottom half, and then around those two um, inlets and outlets, JB weld it, and then uh replace it and then this one here i'll pull when i after i pull it off i'll clean it up and i'll seal it in those areas too so i'll have a uh, a hot spare 
Um, I know I could put an electric fuel pump on, but, um, you know, I just don't want to. <laughs> it's electric fuel pumps just don't seem to, you know, last that long. So, um, you know, and then it requires running a wire and da 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 and then listening to the noisy thing all the time. So, um, that's what we're going to do. All right, well, got the new fuel pump. So there we go, matches up. And as predicted, it has come from the People's Republic of China. Not surprised, but there we go. And that's why the first one leaked. Good old China. In fact, if you look up, you know, I saw, there goes one of their balloons right now uh it's hard to see on the camera uh but uh it's flying over right now um probably zooming in to watch me uh they're tracking one of their fuel pumps that's what it is and they are probably uh zooming in on me uh filming them um uh and re you know just checking how the repair is going well, again, it's too too far away to see, but you listen, you can hear it. There's a jet flying up there, heading right at it, getting awful close. Oh, my, it's, it's rapidly deflating. I sure hope none of that uh, comes and lands on me. Oh, man, that was close. Did you see... That, oh my goodness, that was close. <laughs> All right, well, enough of that nonsense. Let's get back to this uh, fuel pump here. And what we're going to do is some preventative measures to keep it from happening again with the oil leak. You know, if you look, you can see where it's crimped together. There is, let's see if I can get it where the sun... There's just a, there's really just a big gap in there. It just doesn't look like it's crimped all that well. So what I'm going to do is going to scuff this with some Scotch-Brite, hit it with some brake clean um, around the inlet, outlet housings, and around the top. And I'm going to let it, just let it sit and bask in the sun. I'll have to do one side and then the other, because this stuff does flow a little bit. Now, this is the stuff that sets in six minutes, and that's why I'm using it, but it is not necessarily oil resistant. The JB Weld that is, um, man, it stays ooey gooey for a long time. It takes like hours for it to, to set up. So I'm just going to take my chances with this as a precautionary m measure. You know, maybe the thing will be fine and won't you know, won't leak anyhow. And, you know, in my heart, I can believe that what I did, uh, prevented it from, from happening. Um, so, um, this is just something I, I recommend doing. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to be an issue with pump warranty or whatever. You know, you can just say, Hey man, it was leaking and I had to do this to stop it from leaking. So, um, anyhow, I'll show you how I'm going to do that in just a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take the uh, scotch Bright and just kind of scuff it right in around the housing here where the two, where these things are, uh, the housings are all uh, pressed together. And you can s I think you can see if we catch it the right way that, yeah, it's scuffing it up. You want to definitely try and get it right on the seam. So... Um, do that on um, both the inlet and outlet housings and then go around here uh, go around here where the top and the bottom uh, come together so we'll do it there scuff that up and uh, I'll finish this up off camera and hit it with some brake clean mix the um, JB weld and maybe I'll do the 
I'll do the uh, bottom first and leave it sitting up like this and I'll flip it over and do the top and then can go ahead and install it. Okay, so it is uh, scuffed all the way around here and around here. You know, where the, the two inlet outlet housing seams are and around this top to bottom uh, crimp. Uh, sprayed it up with some brake clean. And, um, you know, try not to get it. This, and uh, just when you JB weld it, whatever base, don't plug that hole. That's a weep hole if the, uh, it's a weep hole and pressure vent for the top half. Um, just make sure not to uh, fill that. Um, if I understand it correctly, that is, if the diaphragm breaks, um, then uh, gasoline should come running out of there. So um, anyhow, uh, next step is to mix up the JB weld and get it on there so it can start to cure on one half so we can flip it up and put it on the other. Okay, so if you haven't worked with JB Weld before, the stuff is awesome. It'll fix like a lot of, especially like water leaks and, and such with cracked housings and things like that where there's not a whole lot of pressure. Um, equal amounts. You know, just run the same length of trail and just work a little at a time. Don't mix your caps up because then it'll actually start to cure when you mix the hardener and the resin. So then just, let's see, am I in camera? Yeah. All right, you do this. So I'm gonna mix that for a minute and, uh, and then we'll watch me putting it on. Got the uh, JB Weld mixed. Really, it takes only, you know, like 30 seconds, a minute, something like that. You know, you don't wanna take too long because it's actually starting to um, cure as, as you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit these areas here. We're going to, this is the actual bottom and I hope I'm still on camera. <laughs> All right. Between here and we might as well get both sides at the same time. Uh, let's see. I hope I'm showing up. It's hard to <laughs> hard to be a one man band on this thing. Some of this stuff. Um, so all right. So there's that. Um, you know. For all practical purposes, the fuel pump is kind of hidden. So even though this isn't the, uh, you know, this isn't the prettiest, prettiest thing to look at, it uh, it is for the most part. Especially if you have a uh, well, the power steering bracket pretty much pretty much holds it, uh, hides it rather. So um, anyhow, um, there's one application and I'll mix a little bit more fill that in and then flip it over and then let it sit like this so it works its way down and hardens up and then after it sets this is only supposed to take just a few minutes six minutes and then we'll flip it over and do um, the other the other half Okay, there we go. How lovely. Maybe I should uh, enter a cake decorating contest. Um, you can, uh, as this step is, uh, it'll just pick right off. Uh, I gotta remember to, you know, I always think I'm in camera and I'm not. Um, before it all hardens up in here, you, it, you can, you know, pick off the little extra dribbles. Uh, you know, if you want it to look a little better. Uh, but again, this thing's going to be mostly, mostly hidden. And from the top, you'll see the, uh, uh, this side here. Uh, and you got to really look at it to see it. And, you know, we're just doing this as a preventive, uh, 
precautionary measure. Um, another thing I meant to, I can't do it now because this stuff is still curing and wet, but um, what I did before I, to make sure the pump was good is I just, you know, put some pressure on it, um, you know, held it and put some pressure on it and put my hand, palm of my hand over here just to see that I got some, you know, some pressure, some suction and pressure uh, on that when the, when the arm moves. So I did. And when you go to um, replace this, remember, there's probably going to be some pressure uh, on that fuel line. Um, and as you pull this out, you could be actuating the pump. There is, I can't remember where it is, but, you know, there is, uh, there is probably a note somewhere that tells you at what point of crankshaft turn where this uh, pump has got pressure on it and where it where it doesn't and ideally you want to set it so um, it's in an off pre you know it's not got pressure on here because then it makes it difficult to to get the bolts in but remember as you pull this pump out you could be spraying uh, fuel so you know take precautionary uh, measures especially on the outlet side uh, you might want to work this thing loose and leave it connected while you're doing that. Then disconnect it. Wear safety goggles. Be careful. And, um, you know, there you have it. Okay, so what I meant to show you earlier, and by the way, here is after sitting in the sun for several hours. Uh, that sun, as nice as it is, it is really hard to uh, to film in. But um, there is the finished product, so all all sealed up, and I've scraped away some of that um, little drizzles, and uh, man, it had a good bite on there. So after just, um, oh, I don't know, maybe four hours or so. What I was going to show you earlier is, you know, before you put the pump on, and, you know, certainly before you go through the trouble of, doing this uh preventative measure little seal here is you know have a surface you can press down on and then take your hand over the inlet and outlet and just and you probably can't hear it um let's see but you'll hear you'll hear and feel it either you know uh pulling in uh, pulling in on this one or pumping out uh, on on that one there. So the engine is still hot and it's getting late, dark, and cold. So uh, I'm going to wait a few days before I put the sealed up, new sealed up pump on there. Uh, you know, when I don't have to be anywhere right away and it's pleasant enough to work. Uh, again, safety precautions, wear safety glasses, uh, try and look up if I have time, if I can find it, I'll insert it into the video, but, um, otherwise look up and see what degree, uh, where your, uh, crankshaft, uh, should be, um, so that this, um, this arm has got no pressure on it like, like it is right here. So it's, so it's at rest. Uh, two things, um, when you are trying to get it out, you're going to, uh, this is where you're going to wear safety glasses and be careful. You will get squirted in the eyes. And that happened to me when I was, oh, I don't know. I was like 13, something like that. And, uh, you know, tough way to learn that gasoline just sprayed me in the face and, uh, it's happened to countless other people too. So just heed my warning, get the crankshaft to the point where there's no, uh, where, where that pump handle is at rest like this. And that also makes it much easier to get the thing, uh, in and out. Uh, when you replace it, um, go ahead and hook up a fuel pressure gauge right here. Uh, pull your coil wire uh, so it won't start. So pull power off. Pull power off the uh, coil. Like pull the hot lead off the coil and spin it. And you know, with a Ford, what's nice is you can just bump it between there and there and and spin it over. 
Um, and if you're doing that, it's not going to start anyhow with, with the key nut turned on. But read your fuel pressure and, um, you know, have it, I don't know, five, five and a half somewhere like that PSI. Because these things, I've had them come brand new, uh, these pumps, as high as nine uh, PSI. And it'll just blow the gas right past the needle valve. So, um, yeah, just, just be careful with all of that. And cause it's going to be a few days since, uh, till I can get this on. We are just going to, uh, take it that all is going to be well. If there's an issue, I'll make another video. Well, if you enjoyed this video and you found it, uh, helpful and maybe in this case, uh, even a little entertaining. You never know when one of those Chinese spy balloons is going to come overhead. And, uh, you know, go ahead, grab your fuel pump and push down on your lever and your like and subscribe button. Please uh, comment and share. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.